Hello, my name is Braden Gerard, and today we're going to look at how you can set up fake data inside of Strapi so that you can test out things like pagination or just test out how your different views are going to look once you have a whole collection full of items. So we're going to start by creating a new Strapi project with NPX Create Strapi app. We'll just call it fake data demo. And then we'll do the quick start. Once things finish installing here, we'll continue. Okay, so things just finished installing here and I set up my first account. So if we go in here and we go to our content type builder, let's create an article. Um, and that could be an article that you would have on your website. And we wanna see what it looks like when we have a whole bunch of these articles. So we need to generate 100 articles, for example. Now, if we wanna generate 100 articles, the slow way to do that would be to come in here and give every article a title and every article a body. Let's just save this content type for a minute here. And then once I've created, I'd have to actually go in and say, okay, let's create some content, create a new article, create a new one with a title, article one. This is article one, save, and then publish it. And then I'd have to go through and do that over and over, create a new article. This is article two. And if I wanted to create 100 of these for test purposes, that would be very tedious. Now there's a much quicker way to do this uh, in Strapi. So what we can do is we can go back over to our code um, and let's just stop this for a minute. We'll change into the fake data demo directory where our project was installed. And then we will install uh, the node module called faker.js. So faker.js just allows you to generate some fake data. And we're gonna use that in a minute uh, inside of a function that's gonna be called here by Strapi when it starts up. So we will go over into our code, and if we look in the source folder, and then we go into the index.js, there's actually a function in here uh, called bootstrap. And if we just uncomment this, we can pass in the Strapi context, and inside of this function, we can do something that we want to run whenever the project first starts up. So in this case, what we wanna do is when the project starts, we wanna create a bunch of fake data or fake articles. So let's import that faker library here, okay? And then we will go down into this bootstrap call here, and we will start writing some code that will generate a bunch of articles. So we'll use a for loop and we'll say for let i equal zero, while i is less than 100 i plus plus. So we'll just do a typical for loop in JavaScript um, that will go from zero to 100. Um, and then inside of there, what we want to do is we want to create a new article inside of the Strapi database every time this iterates. So we'll use an await and we'll use the strapi.entityService.create and in this case we're going to create an article and an article and then in here we can put the data that we want inside of that article. And in this case, we want to have a, go back to our content type builder here. If you remember, we have, oh, I need to start up my project again. Um, so let's just save this for now. We'll comment this out so it doesn't run yet, just since we're not done writing the code here. And we will do an npm run develop. And then we will go back over here. And if you remember in our content type builder, we had a title and a body. So in our data here, we wanna have a title. So we could give this a title, say article and a body. This is the article's body. Now this is fine if you just want to generate a bunch of articles with the same uh, body. Um, but in our case, what we actually wanna do is we wanna generate different titles and different bodies for each article. So that's where we'll use this faker.js library. Now, before we do that, you'll see here my await is underlined. That's because I need to make this an async function. So we'll say async here, we'll save that. And I just restarted the server here because I'm running it in development mode. So if you take a look now, we're gonna have a whole bunch of articles already. I'll refresh this. And go to the 
content manager, blah, blah, a whole bunch of articles, all with the title of article. Um, so let's just get rid of these. So you can put a hundred per page here and we will delete these out. And let's actually use Faker to generate some somewhat realistic data, right? So in this case, what we want to do is we want to say, let's give it a title of faker.word.adjective, sure, um, plus a space, plus faker.word. Let's say noun. So that will give us uh, an adjective and then a noun. So make some titles for us. And then we could say for the body, faker.paragraph. Uh, sorry, dot lorem, dot paragraph. Now you can find all the documentation on what's available in this Faker library um, uh, under the faker.js documentation. Um, but here's an example of something that you could do. And then as I saved there, our project just restarted. And because this is now in our bootstrap function, it's gonna run a hundred times. If we go back over here to our articles, they were empty. If I refresh the page, we see we have a hundred different articles in here. And we have mad shoes with some lorem ipsum here. And that's all that you need to do to generate fake data inside of Strapi.